Hello friends, hope you're doing all right. Let's do a quick video on my calendar setup as I've received a couple of requests about it. Mm. So I basically have three hierarchies that I use. The today is what you see right now where I have the calendar up here, the day tag. And um, there's a couple of cool things you can do with it. So first of all, today is Sunday. I've given it a subtext, but the coolest thing is I can actually start today. So if I go into the calendar and the year, and I search for today, I can star the search, or even if I go into the full calendar and I look for today, I can star that search, and then I can always go to, I actually even did it on home, you see, so I don't even have to do it on the calendar, I can just do it on home and see if there's any other bullet that I've started with today. And the cool thing is all of a sudden, you can use the command K quick jump menu to get to the today note. And that's something you cannot do if you don't use date tags. So that's the first thing why I'm actually using the date tag instead of, um, as some others do, just like uh, April 21 or whatever it is, or some, some even have the dates or of, the, of the week or of the month where they just have like one, two, three, and so on. Um, I don't like this because I cannot use um, natural, natural language anymore. So the date tag is actually a feature that I really appreciate. Anyhow, the next cool thing that I, I wanted to show you from working from the today note is I can always go back and forth using the shortcuts, um, which I really like and use quite often. So that's why, yeah, I've set it up that way. The next one is the week. This is in brackets because I don't use the weeks. So what you can see here is I have the full month from beginning till the end done as date bullets. So as you can see, I've pre-selected on a pre-selected, but like prepared all the dates for the month. And before I used to have it in, let's say like week one, week two, and then I would maybe like use all those and move them here. But the, the thing that I, that I like about it is that when I don't use the weeks in addition, is I can move freely through the dates using the um, shortcuts. And that's something I really enjoy. So once again, um, I'd recommend that setup. That's just my personal one. If you use the weeks or want to use the weeks, do it. Another version of what you can do or what I sometimes did is I can simply add a break in between so I have a visual cue. But honestly, I'm not, I'm not in the calendar monthly calendar overview so much. The most important one for me is the day and getting to the other days, which would be maybe like tomorrow or yesterday rather quickly. That's the main thing for me. So the today is the most important one and using the star feature, to get to the command K jump and using the command nine and command uh, zero. Those are the most important ones for me. Those are the ones I really use quite often. Then we'll go to the month. Here you see a cool thing um, we already see over here is the context. So you see that for this date, I've added a little bit of context. What am I gonna do today or what happened that day? And this is what you've already seen when I've shown you my month over here is by just having a look at the month, I see what happened that month and that is beautiful. I mean, I see when I arrived on Bali because I don't really remember, honestly. I see when I'm like uh, meeting friends or did certain like friends like here or did certain things that are like that stand out somehow. And this is something you would also um, know if you if you've already seen my other video on how I journal every day. This is something I um, yeah, I prepare every week and I either give the day a motto at the morning or when I forget or simply I'm busy or whatever, I can do it um, post where I give it a theme. And this is the same for the month. For example, in April, I go, I'm right now here on Bali, I'm in Indonesia, um, I'm here to practice Muay Thai and focus on my gut health and a couple other things. So I have sort of a motto for the month. And I have the same for May already, where I know what's going to happen. But let's just imagine I forgot. So I can simply go back, look at the month, right? See what happened over there, and then give the month a, a theme, right? So by looking at the year, at the end of the year, I already, like when I'm going to do my yearly reflection or all that, I already know what the main things of the month, as well as the days, were. So this element, this little feature of um, context that we're able to give to, to a note is something I really like and enjoy and use quite a lot and that I absolutely recommend. Like it's, to me, it's one of the things why Workflowy is, is that beautiful. Without, without this little thing here for every bullet, I would be missing out on something, promise. Like it is, it is the way. 
So we've talked about context. We'll, we've talked about the date tags to use them for search and date, range, date ranges as well, as you've already seen when I press a look for the today thing. Like today, I had also planned the event of being uh, in a Muay Thai camp in Thailand. Well, I'm not in Thailand, I'm in Indonesia, but nevertheless, I had set up a date range and that's where I'm currently in. So the date range is also a nice feature um, to use dates for, right? Or the date tags that are specific to Workflowy. So let's, let's go further, let's go to the next one. In the year, there's a couple of cool things you can do. If you would go to the year 2024, I haven't used it yet, but I can just show you live is I can, for example, look for the birthdays or I can look for a friend, in this case, Christian, right? So if I would just click on birthdays, I could see all the birthdays of the year. If I look at Christian, I can see all the things or uh, like another friend I could use, but um, I could see all the instances and all the dates and all the events where he was part of it or I thought of him or whatever. And um, then you could also look for date if I had a date that day or maybe travel if I look for whatever hashtags you use more frequently and whatever hashtags you want to use to rediscover certain things in your life. So this is something very personal, but I just wanted to show you that those are worthy of using um, in the year. And of course, you could do the same um, for the month, but I prefer to use the, um, the context element over the hashtags. Um, in the month context context element. So yeah, so far so good. Um, that's pretty much it. The search links, oh yeah, of course, this is the last element. The search links that we can use, for example, when we go to task management is, and maybe someone can help me out here, is, um, is to do and is complete. So if I use this search term for, let's say, the whole year, I can see all the tasks that are to do's and still incomplete. Somehow, preferably, I can use that and say like uh, last week, right? But it's not working, I don't know why. Um, but that would help me um, reflect on the things that are still due to, that are still to do. And that's something that I would likely uh, go for in the month version, in the month overview, where I can say um, tasks to do or um, still to do or unfinished task or something. But that's something I would also do for the year where I would simply add this one is to do is incomplete. I'm going to search the whole uh, thing over here and then say like um, unfinished tasks and simply link this one with the search. And therefore, I can simply um, yeah, see all the tasks that are still unfinished and there's still a lot of them. So that's something I still have to do. So yeah, let's go back to it. Um, we will be here and that's pretty much it. So the things you can use for yourself is the context, which is what I've shown you here for every daily bullet, as well as every uh, monthly bullet, as well as the year, if you want to give it, give it like a context element eventually, then and that's just majorly important. Don't miss out on that one. The date tags in general to employ them in order to jump with a quick jump uh, command K element as well as to use date ranges. Then we have the hashtags that we can use for birthdays, people, ideas, lessons. Those are just like a few common ones I use, but this will be very personal. And then we have the hashtags where we can use um, search links, right? For example, um, for incomplete items, but also you can get creative, whatever else you want to search for be it people, date, or whatever, you can add those at the top and make things quicker and more smooth. I think, I hope, uh, yeah, not think, I think, but also I hope both of it makes sense. And yeah, that's my calendar setup. Um, give me some feedback or uh, comments if you know how to search just for the last week's incomplete tasks. I still haven't figured it out. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you soon.